Hey there, welcome to the channel. We are back here with Seriously, and we are gonna talk to you guys about another big moment. The big reveal that we're expecting for Spider-Man No Way Home. You wanna know what that is? Who is gonna be the sixth villain? It's a lot of questions and a lot of possibilities as we look forward. There's so many so many villains that you could choose from when you look at Spider-Man uh, throughout the comics. We know all the big ones, but we're going to list out some of the ones that are big in the MCU and some of the ones that are doing big things all throughout the comics and may create a whole new world for this, uh, for this film. So let's get into it. Because I want to go into the top seven that we think could be potential. And then I'm going to go into who I personally think is my favorite. All right, we're going to start this out. Rounding it out at the top. And probably the reason we put them at the top is because they just had a recent show. We know that they're going to be involved with uh, Doctor Strange, the Scarlet Witch. Now, the possibility is there that they would go into some level of a House of M thing. And then... You know, Doctor Strange 2 could be undoing that. Maybe there's an angle there. But, you know, I don't think they'll go that route. I don't think they'll utilize uh, Wanda Maximoff too much in this film. I'm thinking they'll probably go in another direction. But there's always a possibility that she shows up. And maybe she's not too happy trying to find, you know, find her kids. The next logical one would be Vulture. He was a character that was set up brilliantly in the uh, uh, the first Spider-Man film. And we think there's always a possibility to bring him back and let him round out that Sinister Six for this film. I think going that route would be a safe choice. It would make sense. It would be bringing in a character that could, uh, that could affect this. But, you know, I mean, sometimes you might look at that and it may just be too easy. So then, what if we go a little wild? This is probably our wildest. This is probably another one on the list that's a little wilder, but this is probably the wildest one. The idea of an alternate Doctor Strange who's got a different focus. Be an interesting way to throw it when you have an alternate version of Doctor Strange coming in and just wreaking havoc and you know causing all these problems. I don't know how well he would work with the Sinister Six. That's why this is kind of a long shot but hey why not another logical choice would be bringing back Mysterio he caused all of this he's the reason for the spell he's the reason that spider-man's in such a bad situation he's not dead he comes back and he finds a way to bring all these guys and mastermind them all together and he could be the connection to the Tony Stark uh, technology as you can tell, in the uh, in the trailers that we've seen so far, it looks like the villains are taking advantage of Stark technology to level up and create, you know, more of a threat. And that's a possibility. I think it's a good possibility that Mysterio is the ringleader. The next one, which was set up after after the uh, Carnage film, where Venom is now the sixth villain which the way that was set up I'm not sure if he would be very villainous but there's always a way to tie it in as a reason why he ends up being more of a villain than being a teammate of Spider-Man but honestly I would rather see Venom working with Spider-Man rather than working against him it just seems like it would be a cool thing to see them both coming together but hey the same could go the other way now, this is where we're getting into more of the abstract. So let's say Venom does come back and he is a teammate of Spider-Man. Well, let's say he gets some indigestion from a little something he just ate, which would be the Carnage symbiote. He spits it out and Ned Leeds becomes the new Carnage and rounds out the sixth villain. That's right. What if Ned ends up being carnage it's a little bit of a shift i know in the comics he was a, a version of hobgoblin 
But what if this is what pushes him into a villainous role and then rolls him into becoming the Hobgoblin in the future? It's an interesting option. I think it would take a lot of, you know, be almost like the rat stepping on the controls to bring back Ant-Man in, uh, in Endgame, I think it was. So it's a little far-fetched, but it was it's an option. It's a possibility, and it's definitely something no one would think of. Now, to round out the seven, the person that I really like, that I would really be excited to see as the sixth, uh, the sixth villain would be Kingpin from the Daredevil series, being possibly teased in the uh, the Hawkeye series. It would be interesting to see him as the brains, bringing all the villains together and pushing to try to kill Spider-Man. Or, I mean, we may see a version of Spider-Man get killed from one of the other films. So it'd be an interesting thing and it would set him up as a big bad and also provide an opportunity going forward in the MCU of just how bad this Kingpin character can be and how imposing he can be even when we're dealing with you know bigger threats to come so let us know like subscribe leave us a comment let us know who you think the six villains gonna be or who you would love to see that we listed thanks for watching